Today on this 2007 Saturn Ion, we're going to be installing Kurt Hitch part number 11447. Okay, we're underneath the vehicle and we're actually looking at the driver's side frame rail. The first thing we need to do before we get started installing our hitch is to go ahead and lower the exhaust down. Depending on your model, you may have two or three exhaust hangers to remove the exhaust off of. On this model, we have just two. There's one here at the rear of the vehicle and one here at the forward side, just rearward of the exhaust. To remove the exhaust off of its hanger, we're just going to use a spray lubricant and go ahead and spray the studs down. And then you can just take a pry bar or, or a set of pliers like I'm going to be using. And you can go ahead and separate the two pieces. We want to do the same thing at the rear exhaust hanger. With the exhaust removed, looking at the driver's side frame rail again. If you look at the forward side, we've got an existing slot here in the frame, our forwardmost attaching point for our trailer hitch. And then if you come to the rear of the vehicle, there's a small oblonged slot here in the overlapping section of metal on the frame here. And that's actually where we're going to need to go ahead and drill our hole. We can just use the, the slot here as our guide to, to go ahead and enlarge that. We need to enlarge it to a half inch. And that's going to be the same on both sides of the vehicle. I'm going to start by drilling with a quarter inch bit as a pilot hole, and then I'll go back through and enlarge to the half inch. All right, with both holes drilled, we can go ahead and start fish wiring our bolts into the frame using the one by three inch carriage block along with the half inch carriage bolt. We want to start by fishing the bolts into the drilled holes first. We're going to do that using the, the half inch bolt leader that's provided again with the installation kit. What we're going to do is take the threaded end of the bolt leader, feed it up through the drilled hole, and out the forward slotted hole. We'll next take the block and slide it onto the bolt leader, followed by the carriage bolt, which we're going to take and wrap the threads of the bolt leader around the threads of the carriage bolt. And then we'll take and go ahead and feed those inside the frame, and then using the other end of the bolt leader, we'll pull them into position. And then for the forward attaching point, we're going to do what's called a reverse pull. And what we're going to do is merge all the pieces together independent of the frame. We'll first take the, feed the block on, followed by the carriage bolt. We'll then first feed the carriage bolt into the frame, followed by the block, and pull it right back down into position. We want to go ahead and repeat that setup for the passenger side. Okay, before we put the hitch up in position, I do want to make note over here on the driver's side, the hitch is actually going to have to go over this exhaust stud and slide over the bolt. And the only way we're going to be able to accomplish this is to have the bolt inside the frame as we slide the hitch in position. Otherwise, you're going to have interference with the, from the bolt. So what I'm going to do is take the bolt leader and go ahead and thread it back onto the bolt. And then what we're going to do is actually feed it back up into the frame for the time being until we get the hitch in position. And then we'll take it, pull it back down. We just want to be careful when putting the hitch up into position not to push any of the fasteners back up inside the frame. And it's probably a good idea to have a second set of hands to hold one side while you're doing the other. We're, we're lining the forwardmost hole in the hitch with the forwardmost fastener. And then with all three of the other fasteners in position, we can take and go ahead and pull our bolt back into position. Okay, with all the fasteners in place, we can go ahead and start torquing our bolts down. You want to verify with the directions the specific torque rating for each of the bolts. Now that the bolts are torqued down, we want to go ahead and put the exhaust back up in position. And you're likely going to find that at this rearmost hanger that the existing bolt and nut assembly is in the way of putting the rubber hanger back on the stud. And if that's the case, you can do one of two things. You can either take the nut back down and try to put the hanger back on, try to tighten the nut up around it. Or you could take and, and bend the hanger here on the vehicle a little bit. Just enough where you can get the hanger back on. And then with the exhaust back up into position, our installation is complete. And now that we've got our hitch installed, we want to go ahead and give you a couple of dimensions that will help make choosing your hitch accessories a little bit easier. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is going to measure 10 and 5 8 inches. And from the center of the pinhole to clear the rear edge of the bumper is going to measure approximately 9 inches. This will conclude the installation of Kurt Hitch part number 11447 on a 2007 Saturn Ion.